We are inside 20 seconds to the start of our 20 SS Hydros, and we got three of them coming off the upper corner here. Looks like we're going to bring them down, make that three of them, two of them. There's third. They got them coming down. We are inside five seconds as of now. We're four, we're three, we're two, we're one, and we are racing here. The really nice start there is Colin Rucker. He broke the clock and brought him across the line with a beautiful start. He was right on the button, and he had a lot of boat speed. He's got the inside lane, a lot of boat speed. If he has got speed on these other guys, he's going to be difficult to beat from that position again. We're going to go three laps around. Kyle Ball comes across here. He is the fourth boat across the line, and then it is Kip Brown bringing up the rear of the field. So we'll see if Kip can run him down on the outside. Meanwhile, running up the back stretch and still running strong is Colin Rucker. Running extremely well. He's got Daniel Corp and Jared Martin in the rear view mirrors, and he is opening up water. I'm going to apologize up front if I make a mistake on a couple of these boats. I got my spotter, Chris, standing next to me here. We're trying to pick these boats out of the sun, but right now, they've got good water conditions. Too bad they couldn't run yesterday. They got blown up, but right now, everything running beautifully for Colin Rucker, and he's got that boat just humming. Right behind him is boat number 199. That's Kyle Thorpe. And then it's Jared Martin running third. So right now, the best race we've got going, well, is for second and third, but then looking up here, Kip Brown trying to make a move on the outside. Here comes Kip. Kip's on the outside, going to try and run him down. Kip is always the competitor. He'd get you in a race to go back to the hotel when the day is done. Kip's still running in fifth, but I think to get him. I think Kip is going to run down Kyle Ball, but he's got a big race course to run, and he's way on the outside. So it's Kyle on the inside, Kip on the outside. Has Kip got him? I think he does. There we see him on the outside. Meanwhile, our leaders are all the way up at the far end of the race course. Had Kip been able to put that boat on the start-finish line with these guys, I got, a, I got a hunch he'd have his nose stuck in it. But meanwhile, coming down, it is Kyle Ball going to come down and pick up the white flag, meaning one more lap to go. Excuse me, that's Colin Rucker. Colin Rucker got the lead at the start with a beautiful start, and he has had this thing going his way ever since we got out here on the course. Daniel Corp holds on to second place, but I'll tell you what, right behind him is Jared Martin, and Jared Martin is thinking he might make a run at second place. Keep an eye on that race. Meanwhile, our race for fourth and fifth is still... Still up for grabs here. Kip got the lead the last time they came down. And he's still got it again. However, it's not, uh, it's not done yet. There's still some shouting to be done. So Kip Brown, those front sponsors aren't even touching the water. He's just flying the front end of that boat as he runs into that little bit of a breeze. Meanwhile, here comes our leader and our apparent winner. It is going to be Colin Rucker out of Mott Lake Terrace, Washington. He had a beautiful start. He laid it on him. He's led from wire to wire and checkered flag. 20 SS Hydros. It goes to Colin Rucker. Now we still got a bit of a tussle going on here for second place. But it looks to me like it's going to be Daniel Corp is going to be able to hold on to it and pick up second place in boat number 199. Daniel does. Great run there by Jared Martin. He stayed right in his mirrors the whole way and was not going to make it easy. But Colin Rucker made it look easy as he went right out there, grabbed the lead right off the start, and that was that. Meanwhile, coming off the upper corner, we still got a tussle here going for fourth. I mentioned yesterday that whatever these guys are racing, they just want to have a competitive experience, and they've had one. Mr. Brown has had a competitive experience, but he is going to hold on here and pick up fourth place, and right behind him is going to be Kyle Ball. Kyle gave him everything he wanted, but Kip was able to hold him off. Good racing here on our first heat of the day, and just glad to get our outboards out on the water. This is a